So I'd like to reframe green in the context of, so green is multicultural, pluralistic, communitive, um, communitarian uh, kind of thinking. Uh, it has a systemic root. It is, it is still sort of scientific, but it's a system science. So this thinking is rooted in what, what Wilbur, Ken Wilbur sometimes calls flatland thinking. And I think that's somewhat right. But it, it's, it's a very important seed that it presents, and it's undervalued in some ways, I think, because of that. Because it, it has the, the seed of the whole second tier sort of in it, in my opinion. In this theory, it's, it's, it's suggesting that there's this fractal root that it is sort of 5.6. So what that means is it, it's within the context of sort of linear 5, which means it's flatland. But it's 6 in the sense that it's visionary inter-objective inter 6. So it has uh, a, a place that it, it shows how it's linking things up. It's very linking in that way, integrative, but integrative from the context of materialism. So you can see how it, it sets an important stage, like YouTube is, you know, it's actually sort of a second tier phenomenon in some ways, but it's, it's perfect for the, the groundwork of 5.62 to spread these sort of linear um, connecting ideas. So it's, it's, it's heavily inculcated with, with people that, that come from from green, and uh, so we see an interobjective root, which means it's 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 good at sort of a materialist science, but it, it's it's also questioning it because it has this sort of visionary component. It doesn't really believe in it anymore, so it's 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 groundwork, uh, gr not groundless, but it's it's almost groundless. It has this kind of um, random push, you know, and and looks for absurdity and the absurdity of five, you know, it doesn't work anymore in, in this worldview. So it's what's what's next, what's coming next. Second tier is what what will come next, but it doesn't have really, especially in our culture, which which you know, second tier hasn't taken hold yet. So it doesn't really there's there's. There's not very many uh, places to go to, to really experience the culture of second tier. So it really does feel like there's, there's nothing there to step into after this. Um, but the important point I'm pointing to, uh, a couple points I guess, but the one that I'm really s suggesting is that it, it, it is setting the stage for what the whole next tier looks like. Um, because, you know, 6.1, you know, will be survival based, but but with a primary focus of visionary survival based um, attitudes, and and so the whole tier has these visionary connecting, like linking, integrating components to it. It's a, it's there's a good reason I think that it, it should be called the integral tier, because it is a integrative system science, the whole second tier, which is actually what I'm calling the sixth tier, but it's, that, I don't want that to confuse you. Uh, so, uh, green can be a sense, there can be a, the sense of malaise and confusion, especially at this point in time, because there still isn't a, a groundwork built the whole second tier can seem like a fantasy in some ways because there isn't any or very many deep uh, practical roots, even empirical roots, showing its reality in, in our society. It still hasn't made mainstream uh, impact, and especially when you start getting into the higher second tier, at least in my opinion, that it really can start feeling like the whole tier is an illusion at this point in time. Once it actually starts taking hold, some, uh, there's actual gravity 
in our society, then that illusion will disappear and they'll really feel like there's, there's a visionary guiding arm behind our works. Um, and the lower part of, of the visionary experience will be reconnecting with more of these interior, subjective, vital, lost elements that, that really are um, primordial and have not been taken advantage of, especially in a strong materialist culture that says that, you know, the materialist element is the only true element, which is, uh, you know, in some sense reduced to um, monological rationality. So, even though, in some sense, this visionary experience is actually more, even further, uh, separated from the, the ground roots. When, when you reconnect with it in the early parts of the second tier, you're, you're digging back down into the primordial roots of these early interiorized perspectives that have been largely lost and are, there's an archaic revival in some sense, as Terence McKinney used to say. Um, and, and so there's I think going to be more of a meshwork of all these different experiences in the whole, because because uh, five, the the whole rational, monological linear, um, first tier, is focuses on sort of more or less the stage that it's at, and the second tier is more open to integrating all the stages that have come before it we're going to see more of an integration of the whole um, experience of interior and exterior and all the different elements that are possible in the human experience. Not to say that there won't be some favoritism as you move through it. It's not going to be perfectly balanced by any means. And, and in fact, the further you go up, the more the ladder sways, as it were. Um, but nevertheless, there's going to be a m more allowances to include these different elements. So, in other words, that's what green represents. There, there needs to be a, a deep reverence in green because it actually is a reflection of what the whole second tier is, is going to kind of be embodied as and experienced as with a more fleshed out sort of kind of experience.